Okay, so what I just did then, I just uh, I just bared the wires um, going into here, and I've connected them to here. So this is uh, honest, but you're actually going to get the first view of this to see if this actually does work. I've not changed the resistors. I'm just going to see if it works on a you know, nearly 13 volts there. I don't know if you can see the front of that. Um, I've got my being really wary hands on because because <clears throat> it's playing around with some live voltage right so okay we should be ready to go so if I uh, if I flip this on we've got 12.8 volts coming out of there if I switch this on and it is definitely lighting up there it does seem happy enough now it'll be interesting to see if I get a square wave out because to be fair um, before when I've done this uh, and I've run it on oh look we've dropped down to just under 12 volts and when I've run it on 12 volts before it's it's not giving me a square wave hmm. now I suppose this is because uh, I've already got 12 volts rectified going in there and I'm trying to get 15 volts DC out of a 12, 12 volt AC transformer so I'm going to hook this up to my, uh, <coughs> my little toy up there and see what comes out of this. So just give me a tick. Yeah, you see I just connected this up and uh, because of the low voltage, oh, I'll show you. I connected it to my up there. And because of the low voltage, I've always pressed the waveform now. There's my triangle. There's me a uh, ramp step. Sine wave, square wave, nothing. This is because this hasn't got enough voltage for the square wave. It needs it's 15 volts. So I've got to try and get this little hunk that's giving me 15 volts. And it's not doing it. So I have to go in there and play with the resistors and see what I can get out of it. So I'll have to come back and try this again in a little while when I've played with the resistors and maybe tomorrow because I've got to go to bed I've got to go, uh, go do some work in the morning. Okay, let's try again. We've done a bit of soldering, all I've got to do is put these in. It's actually looking in the right sort of direction, that'll probably be helpful. Um, not positive, good, negative. I know I've got these yeah. ass back plugs, but that's all that, don't worry. Well, I'm just going to check the voltage and see what's actually coming out of it. So, let's give it a bit of AC again. Let's put some AC there. Uh, let's and all, I've not connected up this um, thing, I've just connected up the supply. Right, bang on 15 volts, 15.1 and slightly climbing. But I think that might just do it because that hasn't got a load on it, so that'll probably pull it down to about 14 and a bit. Uh, so I reckon that might be quite safe just to hook that up. So I'm just gonna that much buttons to press first. Let's just turn this one off, turn that one off. I stuck a 470 in one, I kept me, uh, I've got a 140 in there. Uh, Going from the output to the common, and then from the the common to the uh, negative of the little uh, electrolytic, um, I've got a 470 ohm just to take that, um, bring the power up a little tiny bit. And it seems to have done it. So, and there should be enough, uh, there, there should be enough juice in there, enough current juice in there to let this thing work once it's uh, connected up. So let's give that a go then. Let's um, all the wires. Let's try to do one. Uh, so let's just grab all of this and connect this to the there here. A part of me is like, oh, wouldn't that have been great if it had a blown up? Um, you know, just for that side of it. Because I remember the capacitors when that blew up. That was quite good fun. And I'm telling you, when this thing blew, where's it gone? 
So anyway, I think when that blew, my ears rang for about a good five, ten minutes afterwards. It was a hell of a bang. Blew the blew the side clear out, pull off across the room. I had no idea what I did. I was just uh, I was just getting my heat gun down. I must have just clipped it. Anyway, let's see what we got. Right, I'm gonna hook this go straight to the uh, straight to the scope as well because it's that square wave is the one. It seems to be uh, seems to want the extra bit of juice or the right amount of juice, I should say. Not extra. I don't want any extra. It just wants the right amount, which is 15 volts. So let's just clip that into there. Hook that onto there. If we can just get there, we go. So right, by rights, we should be set for hitting that. Oh god, that's dropped it down, but it is on. And we have still not got a square wave. It's pulling it down too much. No, look, still no square wave up there. And that's what we need. We've got the other waveforms. We don't get the. Uh, I don't get the square wave. I don't need the square wave. Ah. So I need to find me a bit more juice because that's what I need. Uh, when it's on there, what did it pull it down to before? It pulled it down to. Well, it was a little bit like that, wasn't it? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, I just need to keep carry on playing around with the carry on playing around with the resistors and uh, let's see what we can do with that. So I should be back. Back in a minute. Okay, right. Uh oh you can't see that can you? Sixteen and a half volts. Just about. And we have a square wave. And we have a square wave. Na, 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 na. Don't know why. Um, I put it on that supply. It didn't have a square wave. I switched on and off a few times really quickly, and the square wave came back. So I prattled around here. I put a couple of resistors together. I don't actually know what the value of that is now. Let me have a look what this is, and I'll tell you what the value. Is. Oh, that's the 820. So that's got to be the 560 and uh, and and uh, and the 480 or something. Oh, can't see that. Regardless, it works. I put a heat sink on here because that was getting a little bit warm with a little bit of thermal paste. And we have square wave, five volt peak to peak, 22 hertz. Uh, only something there, and of course. Okay, well, let me change the waveform. Yep. Lovely. Lovely. Bit of a user. Ooh. Back to the sign. And on to the square. Lovely, ruddy, chubbly. So, I suppose there's still, there's still a question in range. Is that okay to do that like that? Yeah, because that's all I got. Well, if I turn that white on it. Put anything down. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at this. We've got a little four-way rectifier there, even though it's only two diodes. I'm gonna use those. Those two diodes and these two capacitors allow me to double the voltage from the power supply, so I get 20. Well, uh, basically because it's DC, then after it's been rectified through those two, I get 34 volts. 12 volt rectifier dropping the resistors in between the output and the ground uh, sorry not the output and the ground the common and the ground allows me to play with the voltage coming out of the regulator uh, so I've got it up well it's, it's just in the 17, 17 volts it's around about, let me turn this off there you go I was going to say it's around about 17 volts and that's basically what I got when I turn off the uh, when I turn that off 
But this is what happens when I turn this on sometimes. It's got that. If I just switch it like that. It's not always done that. It's probably something to do with this supply. Some, 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 some I'm doing. I'm, I'm pretty convinced of it. Um, but I'm not sure because every time now it's come back on with square wave, we don't seem to be having any issues there anymore. It's not the cutest looking of square waves, but I have got this monitor on up here. Uh, yeah, this light is a fluorescent, as you can see. Look, it's a fluorescent uh, magnifying last light. So. Uh, it doesn't actually make any difference to it whatsoever. The voltage re re relatively stable, it's sort of flicking around there. I don't know, I've not really been watching it, but it does seem sort of stable ish. Yeah, we should be alright, maybe. And this is. That's not really warm now, I've put the heat sink on. The rectifier was getting a little bit warm. I'll put that heat sink on there. And so a bit of thermal paste. And yeah, that's all right. It's all a. If you look at the, I oh, give that a little bit of a. I suppose well, that's going to be down to. Because I'm pushing it in now quite hard. I suppose that's going to be something down to the, uh, the holes, the sockets, and then the resistance, and whatever. So, pretty happy that's working. what I just wanted to show um, basically it was having a little bit of a, an issue wasn't it when I was turning it on and off I'll, I'll use this switch just here for the just to turn it off let it load again and you know we still got a square wave up there that's not a problem sorry about my shaky hand I'm leaning on the, on the side here and if I turn it on and off from here as well I'll turn it back on it seems that I changed the capacitors. I put a 2200 mic niche on there, and they are 220 mic Sanyos, and that's a uh, 2200 again Sanyo there. And that seems to have well, stopped it from being a bit weird at the start. And I've still got my, uh, still got my square wave. Only the waveforms, even though that looks a bit mental. It seems to have a lot of uh, a lot of interference, and it's not my light. But that is on 180. Oh, I'm not sure if it actually goes up that high. 180,000, 200k. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to go to 200,000. Okay, let me just. Set that down there. So, so I just take that down. Well, that uh, I don't want to do. I want to just go to the uh, frequency. And if I go to like 50, oops, it's a bit sensitive depending on what angle you push this thing at. I just adjust that. Bit better. Uh, so I mean this isn't uh, the greatest of supply and I don't think that the actual battery uh, the uh, I don't think that's very much copper at all I think that's probably a bag of rubbish like I say come out one of those really cheap lights one of those really cheap halogen like desk lamps that if you touch the two metal telescopic things going up I never did it with a metal thing, but I looked at a couple of eBay videos and they said if you do that, I can't remember what they said happens, but it's not a very good thing to do anyway. Uh, so it could be something to do with that. What I'm going to do in a minute is I'm just going to try all this again on my uh, on my supply over there and see if I've still got the same sort of like, you know, uh, that, that weird sort of issue going on when it was at the higher frequency. But yeah, so it switches on and off nicely now, uh, and I do get the square wave. So I'm quite chuffed with that, and if I do work out that it is something to do with the supply, I might have to swap this out with something else and just make it so it's a little bit cleaner there. Anyway, fellas, guys, girls, if you got this far, thank you very much for um, you know giving me your time. And if anyone can tell me if this will be an issue, that is hot. 
that is quite warm so I probably will have to put a bigger a bigger heat sink on there because that's too warm to keep my finger on to be fair yeah 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 it's too warm to keep my finger on so maybe I really do need to rethink about the entire supply on this I've got a 15 volt wall wall I don't know why I bother, didn't bother just putting that in there but I wanted to play around and build my own and just experiment so you give me something to do so anyway like I said thank you very much if you got this far uh, cheers guys bye -bye. Uh, just to let you know uh, just for a tick but I've just tried it I've, I've got it connected on over there it's 15 volts the right mount it's, you know it's doing everything that it should do I still get this uh oh I still get this and it's when I go through the uh it's still got this whoops sorry about that it's still got this thing going on which isn't very good if I turn my light off it doesn't really make much difference so That's at 100, 180 kilohertz. I'm not sure, you know, if this thing's happy to go through all the, uh, all that. The sine wave works okay. There we go. Just to let you know, it looks like it's not actually the power supply issue um, because it's actually going with my uh, my uh, my decent supply over there. So yeah.